the highest profile anti-crime groups in the city is the Justice Coalition. They have a new executive director running the organization that fights on the behalf of victims' families. Paul Bussell now joins us. Paul, you are the replacement uh, for the long time, I think roughly 20 years, and Duggar, who had run the Justice Coalition. You just took over. Tell me a little about yourself and the Sure, Scott. Good job. Well, I, I don't want to say I would replace Ann because Ann is just a phenomenal woman who's done so much for the community mm -hmm. and led the Justice Coalition yeah. for 20 years. Um, I've spent over 30 years in the not-for-profit sector working with at-risk children and also with the developmental disability uh, population, both in Louisiana and here in Jacksonville since 2005. So uh, I'm real excited to be part of this organization, which has a very compelling mission, which is to advocate for innocent victims of violent crime. Talk to me about that. In Jacksonville right now, we're dealing with a string of that just here in the recent weeks since you've taken office or yeah. taken over the job here, right. even in downtown Jacksonville. What are your thoughts from the Justice Coalition perspective when we're at with this violent crime issue in Jacksonville? Well, just like the rest of the community, we're very concerned and, and uh, uh, really look to see how we can uh, shape our organization to be of even greater service to individuals that unfortunately experience uh, violence in their lives. So uh, we feel that building that strong coalition with the public and private sector, with the uh, uh, law enforcement community, as well as the uh, state attorney's office and other nonprofit organizations and collaborating to see how we can best serve those individuals who are facing, you know, the result of a violent crime in their family. What are you finding out now taking the job? Uh, Ms. Duggar had it for so many years. Now you're getting here, getting to know the crime enforcement, uh, everyone from the runners of Crime Stoppers to the sheriff right. to the state attorney. Um, is Jacksonville seem to be running smooth in the crime fighting areas or the areas where we need to improve? I, th I think that Jacksonville is a unique city in so far as the collaborations and the partnerships that, that they have between the... Uh, uh, not only the law enforcement community itself, but also with you know, the city and, and state uh, attorney's office. Uh, uh, Sheriff Rutherford, now Congressman Rutherford, has been very, uh, very much a supporter, served on our board. Mike Williams, our, our current sheriff, serves on our board of directors and, and several other uh, individuals in the community that have uh, made a mark in, in the community based on their contribution of, of being servant leaders. So. Um, I've had the opportunity uh, to meet several of these folks in my previous positions, and I just think that Jacksonville uh, has the uh, commitment to, you know, get their arms around the issues and, and problems that we're facing, and really uh, move this move this move this city forward and in, increase the, the safety and the uh, response to a violent crime. Now you tell me you're using your predecessor as a way to help young people uh, with a scholarship fund you guys are establishing. Yes, we're very excited about that. When, when I joined the organization and, and learned about the history, uh, and I had known about the history with Mr. Ted Hires founding the organization back in, in 1995 and Ann, her 20 year uh, leadership career with the Justice Coalition, we feel that it's most important that we honor her. And the way we're going to do that this year is at the 15th annual Together We Can Breakfast that takes place every year uh, at the First Baptist Church downtown. We're going to honor Ann Duggar with the Ann Duggar Scholarship Award, which will be uh, giving a scholarship to an, an innocent victim of violent crime or a family member of an innocent victim of violent crime. And uh, we're real excited. Ann is, is delighted. I've had the opportunity to share that with her. She's a very humble person and very, very honored. So we're March 16th? March 16th. Okay. It's a breakfast. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll be contacting our supporters. We've had great support from the corporate community. And we're going to go ahead and, and hopefully make this the biggest and best uh, uh, Together we can uh, breakfast for uh, innocent victims of violent crime. Paul Bustle, thank you for coming on and welcome to the job. We look forward to working with you. Thank you, Scott. It. Appreciate the time.